Are you looking to increase your design skills and productivity? From sketching, surfacing, assemblies, and everything in between, our books have you covered. Purchase a paperback or PDF version in our store today. Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I'd like to thank you for being uh, a part of a creative community of CAD users. It's pretty awesome. Today I have uh, a few treats, and it's about creating geometry and projecting curves on surfaces and doing what they call a random color distribution on faces. It's kind of amazing. Uh, I'm going to start with a sketch that is on the XY plane like this. And I'm going to put in a single line segment that kind of starts here and goes to there. And I'm going to put in a spline. And I'm going to try my best to make a very appealing shape like that. And with splines, less is more. The less points you use, the smoother it is. And so it'll look like that. So there's my sketch. And my sketch is then going to be used to do a revolve. Um, some of you don't realize that if you revolve a single curve about a line segment, you get a solid. Just like that. So that's really cool. And I'm going to shell that solid out. Point two. Say OK. So now I've got pretty much a vase. And I'm going to hide this. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it there for a second. You'll see why in, in a moment. And now I'm going to go to the helix command and I'm going to say helix along spine. I do appreciate the helix command. I'm going to put the helix command with kind of a large um, pitch. And um, I'm sorry, right here, right here, there's 12 pitch. And this is a um, right handed helix. This is a, this is a right handed helix. So I'm going to say apply to that. And I'm going to do it again with a left-handed helix. You'll see why in a moment. There we go. I've got two helices. I don't know if that's plural for helix, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. Um, now, these helices, they need to have... Yeah, I think, it's, I think, I think they'll be all right. They, they need to be... They need to uh, form a cylinder that is larger. There we go. So that's fine. That's larger than the object. You'll see why in a second. So now I'm going to go to pattern geometry. And it's really neat that you can pattern things that are not necessarily one feature. It's just a bunch of geometry. And you could pattern points and datum planes and almost anything. And I'm going to do a circular pattern. And I'm going to do it about this vector right here. Say OK. So I'm basically making a cage around my model. And now I'm going to project it. I'm going to use the project curve. And I'm going to project these helices and the um, patterns of the helices. And I'm going to specify a uh, face, a single face on which to uh, pattern these. And I'm sorry, project these. And then I'm going to project toward a line. So if I projected um, toward surface normals, it would get really weird where it curved. And what I want to do is project everything towards this interior line. And then it falls down on the faces very nicely. So now I'm going to hide the patterns and hide the helixes, helices. And you can see that I have a very nice distribution. I don't need that sketch anymore, so I'm going to hide that. I have a very nice distribution of curves on the surface. Great. So now I'm going to go to the uh, divide face command. And I'm going to say, I'm going to select this single face. And, I'm, and the dividing objects are going to be single curves. I'm just going to select the single curves. Because if I select them in other ways, it causes problems. I know that from experience. In this particular case, you want to select them singularly. Otherwise, they project and they divide faces that you didn't want to um, and in ways that you didn't want to. So, so you say, okay, um, I'm going to make sure that the setting says hide objects. So there's that. So now I've got individual faces. 
and I can say Control J now and go to the uh, face selection and I'm going to, wait a second, before I do that I'm going to say Control J, I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to color it white like that and then I'm going to say Control J and I'm going to filter for faces and I'm going to select a bunch of faces very quickly like that and I'm making kind of a checkerboard if you will on this model so it'll look really stark and striking and there we go and I think one more right one more row there we go so that looks pretty cool say okay say okay and I'm going to pick out a nice stark almost jet black and there is a pretty cool looking vase. Now, one more thing I'd like to show you, and that is there is a command in the view area called random color display. How about that? And random color display looks at all the different surfaces and solids in your model and it assigns them a different color. So that is pretty cool. And of course, when we put the true shading editor on there and we go and we edit the true shading editor and we ensure that the Y axis, which one is it? This one is there. So the floor is in the right place. We control W to get rid of the coordinate system, hit the W key to get rid of that little coordinate system. And we've got a beautiful display and with the random uh, color distribution, you can shuffle it every time I shuffle it, it gives me a new pattern or you can turn it off and it's back to normal. Then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this um, <clears throat> edge of this vase would be <clears throat> very uncomfortable if you drank from it or whatever. So I'm going to go into the face blend command and I'm going to do a uh, three face surface and I'm going to say tangent faces for that surface there tangent face for those surfaces there, the middle surface is going to be that, and it rounds them all off very nicely. And there's my finished product. What fun. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I hope you like and subscribe to this channel and share it with others. And like I said, I appreciate uh, being part of this incredibly creative uh, NX CAD community and uh, uh, member of a very creative uh, bunch of folks who build things and make things. It really is, I think, something special. Thanks again.